Along to the right point now here, Silich. Silich moves down, right circle, stops up top of the dot. Now working here, Sodergren, high slot, left wing feed, we're sharp back for Sodergren, a shot, tip to the net, they score. It's Shane Baker with one second to go on the five on three, and Cranbrook opens the scoring and leads 1-0. Second of the series for Baker, who scored in game two, and he's got the opener here in game four. Now it's Lockburg that will get the handle as he tries to work around Wishart's check and played back behind the net where it's Farrell that will come away with it. Jack Farrell. It's around a check at center. Will bank it off the right wing. Glass gets it back again. Farrell high slot left wing. Feet Crayer scores! Dylan Crayer, his first BC Hockey League playoff goal. Found the loose puck on the left side on the feed from Farrell. And buries it past the blocker side of captain. And the Warriors tie the game. It's 1-1. Dylan Crayer, who came to the Warriors late in the regular season, scored his first PCHL goal in his first PCHL game. Gets the marker here on a went up and over the goal and comes all the way back out at center. Caslow Ferner working his way back in for Cranbrook. Right wing feed out for Noah Ernest, and his pass was deflected away from the slot and worked ahead by Johannes Lockberg. Worming his way out through center, Lockberg. Left wing feed, here's Felix Karana shot. He scores! Felix Karan from the left circle moved to the slot and buries it past captain. His third goal in two games here in Cranbrook, and the Warriors take the lead for the first time in game four with a 2-1 advantage. Karan's third of the series got to the slot and buried a pass captain. Advanced back out through to center. Tipped ahead there by Hughes. Left side just couldn't connect there with Pridham. And now Frey onto the puck here in neutral ice. will leave it along for Silich who carries back in. Dropped it off right wing side. That was knocked down by Wilson and brought the other way. Here's Jack Pridham racing ahead. Pridham working in right circle. Sends it in front. Hughes to the backhand. What a save by captain with the left pad. Put to the net by Brooks from the right point and another save. That will halt play. And the crowd showing their appreciation for just a phenomenal stop by Carter, captain, and it keeps the game 2-1. A terrific pass in front by Jack Pridham, who spun and got that puck to the front of the net, to Cal Hughes, who went from... So 50 seconds has elapsed on this double minor penalty to Jack Pridham for high sticking. And Lockberg takes the puck away. Here's a chance. Vigo Nordstrom scores! Nordstrom from the left circle through the legs of Captain. A shorthanded goal. And the Warriors lead 3-1. Vigo Nordstrom on a strong play off the wall by Johannes Lockberg. Freed the puck up and it's Nordstrom in the left circle through the legs of Captain in the back of the net. The Warriors who scored 10, and West Kelowna's bench called for the minor, and now you're forcing your penalty kill into a big spot. Five on three here for Cranbrook for a full two minutes. Jack Silich left wing side. Across right wing now, here's Sodergren holding down low, sharp angle, they score. Well, the Warriors bench penalty comes back to hurt them. And it's Tyler Wishart on the goal line on the five on three who goes up and over Matthew Delarusso, the second five on three goal of the game for West for Cranbrook. And the game now three to two with 17.35 to go here in the third period. Fed it along right wing now for Pridham. Pridham in neutral territory, tried to slide it ahead as he tried to get it back off the skates of Belange. We're back to five on five as the Warriors trying to get that puck ahead at center. Farrell couldn't do so. Here's Ernest to carry in high slot. Shot, Silic scores! Jack Silic in the high slot, rips it past the blocker side of Matthew Delarusso. And it's a brand new hockey game. It's 3-3 here in Cranbrook.
The Warriors can't convert on their power play. And Cranber comes back the other way. And it's Silich in the high slot who rips the shot past the blocker side of Delarusso. Silich picks up his sec down to the left wing corner. Cohane flips it back out to center. Knocked down and neutralized by Belange. Now Sonnegren will find the handle and carry out through neutral ice. Well, okay, Sonnegren across the blue line. Drops it off left point. Donovan Frias to the front of the net. Redirected on. Telarusa the save on the redirection. Now thrown toward the front of the goal. They score! It's Loke Sodergren that gets the last touch on it from below the goal line, sent back in front off of Delarusso into the back of the net. And Cranbrook takes their first lead of this game since they led 1-0 and have gotten themselves ahead 4-3 here in the third.